awoni yoruba loni ibo ni woni iti wa se woni eranko eya orisan igbagbo ati emi ialenu woni mitorina telewa daradara ki ae leko eko papo edupe it will come as a shock to a lot of the yoruba people and many other melanin dominant human beings that nothing like yoruba as a people as a tribe or a language existed before the 19th century that the current configuration is not african but european our title is from northeast africa into western africa migrations from the nile valley since from northeast africa into west africa is our title and the topic tonight this a black history of the yoruba is built on three corrective foundations number one as melanin dominant human beings and life members of marifado we do not observe european created borders so any melanin dominant human being who is still hog tied to these borders and proud of his nationalism or her nationalism is a nikam poop a dump and a daft person number 2 we agree that the oldest race to ever walk on the earth dates to at least 3 billion years ago and that that race was melanin dominant human beings we know from genetics and from self confessions by european scientists that they arrived on the earth 8000 years bce and that the agents are 15000 years old while it's melanin dominant human beings black people or africans are 3 billion years old at least we know that our ancestors migrated into many parts of the continent of africa specifically and then into other areas on earth therefore to assume that their current locations or wherever they are found today is where they are autochthonous is an idiotic assumption so these are the three factors that we are going to tackle from northeast africa into west africa therefore from these three primary facts and we learn from shenga and diop the hunter gatherers wa or the batwa or the ba people were the only indigenous people in western africa as well as many many other parts in africa shown here current migrations and their theories are a fuddled up system that ignores the 3 billion years that we have given from the clectop spheres and therefore people like the yoruba who go on to dominate west africa are a result of multi migrations that began millions and millions of years ago across the whole continent of africa and into the earth we now want to ask the question or the questions who are the yoruba and where did they come from are uh, they hebrew israelites please take this very very seriously as already proved that black civilizations are the oldest in the world we know that black history begins almost 3 billion years bce because of that no yoruba can be a hebrew israelite hebrew israelites is a religious belief that is based on the european plagiarized book called the torah which came on the scene 1350 years bce that's the history it purports but the actual book came into existence later on anyone then saying that yorubas are hebrew israelites is confusing religious conversion to anthropology even the yorubas belief of the afterlife as demonstrated by these scholars and the linguistic phraseology differs immensely from that which is found in the torah and from israelite culture no melanin dominant human being can escape these spiritual practices said scholar parinda 
So, cultural thieves, as demonstrated, which we know as an attempt to connect a false history to real history. Because without Egypt, Israel does not exist, and there will be no Jews or no Hebrews. So they have to connect that to what is current. You can see the fallacious nature of Europeans wearing leopard skin. It's laficious. And they're saying that this is Ephraim. It's laficious. Because we know the current Egyptians are Europeans. That's why they are cultural are thieves when they claim a heritage that is not theirs. Since the Hebrew Israelites became a nation in Hamid, here is what the male and dominant human beings in Hamid say about where they came from. We came from the beginning of the Nile where God Hapri dwells at the foothills of the mountains of the moon. This is from Asura Imhotep, the papyrus of Hunofara. Therefore, from these primary facts, the people called Yoruba today moved into West Africa from the east and from the northeast. So the question is when did they move there and what evidence do we have? When did they move here? That a lot of the Yoruba people and other melanin dominant human beings are absolutely ignorant that nothing like the Yoruba as a people, a tribe, and as a language existed before the 19th century. So who are the Yoruba? First, the term Yoruba is an exonym. An exonym is a name that is given to a group of people by colonists and by other people, not by themselves. So it was first used by the Hausa, and then the Europeans adopted it. They applied to the most rural and southwestern part of the place that we call Nigeria today, which never existed as a country anyway before the Berlin Conference, and Benin and Togo, right up to Ghana. They called all the languages here the Yoruboid languages, but we know them as Bantu languages anyway. But the unfortunate aspect of everything else is that our own people rose up to destroy our own history. A man known as Samuel Ajay Crowther is one of those great sellouts celebrated by Christianity, Judaism, and Islam today. Nevertheless, the Idekiri is the actual name for the group of languages later referred to as well as referred to today as Yoruba. But if you understand the pure root of the Idekiri language, you'll be able to understand the bits and pieces of all other languages spoken from what the day Kwara to Kogi to Edo to parts of the Delta and to the Southwest states and to Benin a Republic right up to Togo. The Yoruba language, according to this post here, is classified within the Idekiri languages, which together with the isolate Igala form the Euroboid language, a uh, Euroboid group of languages within the Volta Niger branch of the Niger Congo family, Bantus. But the question is who invented the noun Yoruba and uh, Yamuri? The tribes in West Africa didn't have a common collective name for themselves. They self-identified using many, many names. The Nupe, the Yoruba, the Ido, Igala, the Bariba, the Ijesa, the Ignomina, and so forth and so forth. The name Yoruba was coined and first attested in a treatise by 16th century Songhai scholar, another sellout, Ahmad Baba al Musufi al Tumbuktu, who referred to the people of the ancient Oyo Empire, which included present-day Oyo and Osan states and parts of Kwara, and Lagos. The name was adopted and adapted by Muhammad Bello, another sellout, who later became the Sultan of Sokoto in North Nigeria, who referred to the Oyo people as Yariba in his article on the Oyo Empire. Therefore, the term Yoruba did not exist before the 18th century. The concept of a homogeneous Yoruba nation is a relatively recent concept, yet their unity is within the African worldview and origin. Here is that sellout. Samuel Ajay Krotha, a retainee who had been captured by the Fulani, another sellout group, and the enslavers, and came back and started to write the Bible in his own language after his conversion into Christianity, and he became a bishop of the Anglican Church. The history of the Yorubas, 1897, as Europeans first encountered the name through the Hausa people, whom they called the Yariba. Here from Wikipedia etymology. As an ethnic description, the word Yoruba, or more correctly, Yaraba, 
was originally a reference to the Oyo Empire and is the usual Hosa name for Oyo people. Yarabawa is noted by Hugh Clapperton and Richard Lander. It was therefore popularized by Hosa usage and ethnography written in Ajami during the 19th century by the Sultan Muhammad Bello. It states that the Hausas that refuted the Islamic beliefs migrated to Yoruba land. So they go on to explain that. You can also read this book by Ari Bidesi Usman and Toyin Faflola, the Yoruba from prehistory to uh, present. Where did the Yoruba people originate from? Scholars noting similarities between Yoruba and ancient Hamitic culture, religious observation, art, burial, and other customs were quick to accept and to see and to realize the migration of the ancestors of the group that we now call the Yoruba from the Upper Nile, Nubia, South Sudan a region from around 2000 BCE to 1000 BCE. The move or the migration was largely caused by upheavals in ancient Hamid. On the possible eastern origin of the Yorubas, Tariq Sawandi says, the Yoruba history begins with the migration of an East African population across the Trans-Africa route, leading from Mid-Nile to the Mid-Niger River. Yeah. According to Olume, Olmide J. Lucas, the Yoruba during antiquity lived in ancient Hamid before migrating to the Atlantic coast. He uses as a demonstration the similarity or identity of languages, religious beliefs, customs, and the names of persons, places, and things, in addition to many, many other ancient papyri discovered by archaeologists. So, archaeologists, according to M. Omolea, informs us that the Nigerian region was inhabited more than 65,000 years BCE by a original, the Batwa, the Ba, and later on by a civilization known as the Nok culture, which occupied that region. The Nok culture was later visited by the Yoruba people between 2000 BCE and 500 BCE. We can see from this image the Heru Shango Oath, pause of devotion to heroism in ancient indigenous African uh, bio or cultural heritage, again in the Yoruba, in Benin, in southern Nigeria, in Cameroon and uh, up to Mali. In central Nigeria, the Nok civilization flourished between 1000 BCE and 300 BCE. It is the, yet the oldest of the Nok culture is 4500 BCE. Then around 100 AD, the southern region of Nigeria was populated by the Ife, the Oyo and the Benin tribes, the Edo people forming the Benin tribes and the Yoruba people formed Ife and the Oyo tribes. These tribes are very, very important in understanding our African heritage and spirituality. The great Yoruba religion is same as Kamitic and any other Bantu uh, religion, which I'll give the proof. And this religion is also one of the greatest proofs that the Yoruba people moved into West Africa from East Africa. We are using Yoruba in contemporary terms, not as ancient uh, application. As great as Kemet was, it was not the originator of its own philosophy or spirituality. The African science of the mind and the spirit. See, the Yoruba pose, the ancient Naya pose, the Bandu Congo pose. You become enslaved to other races due to the fact that you depend on their teachings for you to have knowledge of self. Yet our ancestors, African ancestors, male and dominant ancestors, the supreme knowledge of self which began with the God self. So it is the Twa from inner Africa, so-called pygmies today, who are the originators of all melanin dominant philosophical spirituality. The Twa are the first true human beings, the ones who spoke to Oludumare Amin Ra when his creation of man was complete and gave instructions of how we can live. The Yoruba religions include all basic melanin dominant human consciousness and effort and spirituality and reverence of nature, ancestor veneration, and the worship of divinities. You can see the image of Amara Ra here, 19th century, pre-dynamic, pre-dynastic Hamid and the Ife in ancient West Africa. And Ife, Ife, 
Yoruba terracotta fragment of ram's head with the broader collar symbol as the Edo Benin as well as Meroitic. You can never argue against such evidence unless if you are a fool. The Yoruba religion is a melanin dominant spirituality. Same everywhere. This is the structure of the religion that we're talking about. Where we have got not a spirit or a being creator. And also other divinities here. Overall creator, other divinities like Iran Mole and the Orishas here at this level. And the ancestors and the spirit that lives beyond death. Again, here is the Orisha, the scientific spirituality with all these divinities that are listed here and what they do in life and their forces that they do and release and what you can tap into. Orun Mila, Obatala, Ogan, Osan, Esu, Shango, Oya, Ibej, Osanin, Osumate, Olukuni, Oludua, Osous, Yemoja, Oba, Oko, Agriculture, Domestic, Trends, Meditation, Dreams and Self-Programming. That is Yemoja. And these are the Orishas, the gods of Yoruba mythology. Same as in Hemet. That's the key here. Same as in Hemet. So these people moved from Hemet. That they moved from West Africa to Hemet. And from Hemet to West Africa is yes. There is no no there. Same thing. Again, children. Portrayal in ancient African art. Here is the Yoruba one. And here is the Kemetic one. Royal mothers. Here is the Kemetic one. Here is the Yoruba one. Why, why, why would you say these are not the same? This is more proof the Yoruba migrated from Northeast Africa into West Africa. Again, the same here. Amen Re of the Meretic Kush and Hamid, ancient, so called ancient Egypt, have Yoso or Kavizio of the Fawn of Benin, West Africa, the Fawn version of Oba Shango of the neighboring Yoruba. Same people. The Yoruba have totems like all melanin dominant human beings on the earth. Pre-modern societies often had animal totems and they saw animals and humans as intertwined through reincarnation. Each family has a totem and is grouped by totems, plants, birds, four-legged creatures in the system of marriage alliances. Tribal groups avoid the flesh of animals that are their clan totems. These are the taboos. Again, here are the totemic forces and powers. Ancient Egyptian jedi, which can often appear along with an ank or merged with an ank. Yoruba Egugun festival costume. The Egugus among us, the Ibos also. Quite with jedi pillar. Found This is found in a Brooklyn Museum. Here is another effect of the totem. The serpent, spoken of the Nyami Nyami, the Onyame. Kushitic and Yoruba, here again, animal instincts and animal forces. Whether anyone likes it or not, accepts it or not, the fact remains that the greatest civilization the world has ever known is the ancient African civilization called Egyptian civilization today. It was established by melanin dominant human beings and people of color, and those same people were the custodians of the deepest mysteries and secrets of our world and of the human race, which can ever be understood by anybody. The ancestors of the Yoruba played a huge role and today they are one of the shining lights on those ancient civilizations. The belief system of the Yoruba people, which may have originated millions of years ago in Nigeria, is regarded as one of the oldest religions on earth. Yoruba religion, Dahomey mythology, Vodun, Santeria, Kandombele, Haitian Vodou, Louisiana Vodou and folk Catholicism. In Brazil, they were usually known as the Nagos until the 19th century. We have tracked them to East Africa as their original home. Today, millions of our brothers and sisters have rejected the evil religion of Islam, Christianity, and Judaism. May Shango give them strength and give us strength to keep fired up. Ashe which is an ancient word of power invoking the divine ability to bring one's will into manifestation. When it is translated properly, it means it is, as I say, it is. 
ashe ancient men and women being so called africans observed nature to explain active forces of the unseen nameless not spirit nor being creator from this they formulated symbolic metaphors which are hidden within ancient melanin dominant mysteries one of the biggest misconception is that we worship the many gods which is not the correct perception because we had the neteru we have the orishas and we have the abosom and we have got mondoro in our languages so keep calm and have faith in the orishas Our ancestors combined the natural knowledge they have and they had of the Orishas, the divinities, Mondoro, as well as the Neterus with their own personal physical science that was built inside them as an enduring personalized system that benefited any user. To learn more about this, you can send us an email with your request to join at marfado.com. Subscribe to our channel Hamid Iburu Ethics this preacher by LM Dimizulu saying we are the original owners of all ancient melanin dominant mysteries they are lying asleep inside you and uh, me and uh, you can study the Yorubas and their religious and spiritual system to be able to rise up and be able to release and uh, use that power it's within you the choice is yours thank you till we meet again edupe siabonga tatenda henkos